Maybe they just don't have it priced. They were too busy using it as a hat holder. <laughs> That's the iGym of Genie decanter. They would paint that different colors. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here in Mooresville, Indiana. Mooresville at Yellow Moon Antique Mall. And we're gonna go inside here and see if we can find... Barb, look at that building. It's like falling apart. Well, we just walked in. A little butter thing, 8.50, that's nice. And we are seeing what they have. Some... That's a fancy paperweight. I know, it says it's Cambridge, 35. There's a black amethyst one right next to it for 20. Wow, look at all the Halloween stuff. Looks really nice. Barb's gonna like this. Halloween time. Yeah, there's like a little pumpkin for six and six. Candles. Look at that. It's just gold. Wow. Ooh, the popcorn. Popcorn for 12. I Mel have him. Plastic melted popcorn. Look at these colors. Wow. That's a really vibrant blue for 25 that plate. Oh, yeah. All right, let's look over on this side. Little girl saying, hey. Oh, that's Chatty Cathy for 25. Oh. She's a famous girl. I've heard of her. They have some Art Deco frames. Ooh, ooh, $6. This one has Mother of Pearl. Oh, it's missing something. It's missing that thing in the corner like that. That's a fancy couple. Well, too bad. I thought $6 was going to be good, but not if it's broken. Not if it's broken. There's another girl on the floor. <laughs> she looks like she's wearing a hot Oh, there's some Balik right down there. They've got the tree trunk face for 20 Ooh, that's not bad, actually. Ouch. Hmm. Maybe I'll get that. Tree trunk vase for 20. I think I'm, mm, I don't know. We'll see if Barb, if Barb says no or yes. They have the, there's the Balik tree trunk vase. Well, hmm. Do you want one mm. for yourself? There's a litho over there. Oh, that reminds me of one we were just looking at. That looks, oh, it's only $22. It seems like a good one. Oh, you do seem like a good one. That is beautiful colors. You're beautiful. I'm gonna get that. Whoops. Ah. Well, that's nice. I'll put that up at the register. I don't know who made that one, it's not, because there's not a mark on that corner. It looks like the work of Atkinson Fox. Could be. I thought that was a Fox one, wasn't it? They have a society website that you could check these things, but I, I, so maybe it's on there. It's a nice planter. There's one of those clocks, Barb. I just noticed that the oh, yeah, moon, I have one of those. moon glow or moon, moon, moon beam. I think it's Moonbeam. That one works, they say, for 38. Not bad. No. Oh, look at that tray. Oh, wow. $12? Really? It's not in the best of condition, but that's nice. What's this tin back here? Tin? Oh. Mrs. Stevens with I've, the bells. I've had, I've had Mrs. Stevens. For $5. It's really not bad. The colors could use some better vibrancy. Yeah. Did you look at any of these fabrics? No. Oh, looks like pillow. <coughs> oh shoot. Looks like the pillowcases are four fifty. Oh, each probably. Yeah. Little baby booty. Baby booties. Left in. Three fifty. Maybe the flowers are disrupted. That could be the problem. Ooh, ooh, there's some Greek. My coffee is really becoming a problem. Coffee's a problem? Because it's like in my hand and, you know. Don't forget where it Oh my gosh. 
I love this Greek key amethyst up here. Isn't that pretty? Four fifty. That's kind of nice. I wonder if it would have had a lid though, because of this simple ledge. But there's not much of a ledge. But that's strange that it would be there at all. I don't think I will. It's tempting. Very, very tempting. That's pretty. Like a little, uh, it's supposed to look English, but I think it's Japan. Made in Japan from the 30s. Yep. Four fifty. dollars It's nice. Let me get those little turtles. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Four dollars each. This is from a, uh, this red, this is from a, sh a shovel. What's that shell? Is that hole? This. Um, yes. V v vaguely, you can see hull. Oh, and the price is $10. That's that's not bad. Yeah. The color is nice. The color is quite lovely. If you mm. want some ruby glasses and a pitcher, they've got it. I don't, though. That's a lot. Glasses. <laughs> uh-huh. I like this um, vase over here, but I can't reach it. <laughs> Which, oh, the one in the back corner? Yeah, the yeah. That's too bad. Um, I might be able to reach it. Oh, is that a Royal Copley? No, I no. got it down. It is $15. Oh. It's not marked. Whoa, he's wobbling up there. Look at this big... That one's 10 Hmm. Yeah, I wondered if you might like that. I don't know. I Maybe I don't. You don't? Not right now. Okay. $12. I like that. If I touch it, I, I'll, it'll be mine. <laughs> <laughs> You have to hold my coffee, though. That's the only condition. All right. Let's get this thing out of the way. Move it over there. And we'll get this face. Ooh, that is beautiful. I think that's a winner. I'll change it's a it. heavy winner. Hmm. I don't know. I've never seen such a thing. That's but right. yeah, it's pretty cool, I think. Right? Oh, yes, it is. If it's not chipped up all over the place. Mm, there's a, oh no, that's a sticker. Mm, it looks like a sticker. It's pretty sticky, but. Maybe that could be gotten off no matter yeah. what, though. When do you, what time frame do you think this would be from? 60s. Yeah. wonder if it glows. Do I have my little. We're going to find out if it glows. Friend? If I can get that. Oh, I got it already. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. Do it in down at the yellow. Down at the yellow. Um, a little bit in the middle there, right here in the middle. Yeah, there's there cadmium. There you go. Good old cadmium. Okay. Well, it's decided. We've each found one thing, so it was worth the trip, well, I guess. Well, my one thing may or may not. I mean, yes. What? But it's for me. It? No, it's for me, though. Oh, well. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for you to find things for yourself, though, because you don't that often. Eh, that's okay. <gasps> Ooh, that's a pretty 10 right there. Oh, underneath the little ones. I wonder how much it is. Um, let's see here. I probably got to take all those off. Oh, that's a Van Kynes. I was going to collect those, but <laughs> no, I don't think I will. Tempting. Ah. 450 is not bad. Merry Christmas, it says. This one is five. Even though it's little. I'm not going to do that. You're I think not. I have that one already. I need to sell it. I don't know. Like, I don't think I want to collect the Van Tines anymore. I don't know. I only oh. have like one piece and then it's only $5 and it's kind of nice for Halloween, but mm. I don't know. I guess not. We'll just say no to the tins. Put it in my hand. Oh, you want it? Yeah. <laughs> I I do like Van Tines. Every time you, sh you showed me Van Tines a long time ago. Uh -huh. Oh, look at the little acro agate with the cart. A little cart. 19. In a basket. Oh, yeah. For 19 also. Can't forget. That's an interesting picture up there. There's more downstairs, it says. Oh, that's different. I like that. Oh, it's $150. Mm. What? <gasps> Look what I just found. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, it says nineteen dollars. Pink bird standing. The bottom looks old. I love that they don't even know it's a flamingo. There's like bird, <laughs> pink bird. It looks older to me, don't you think? Or do you think it's eighties? Mm, it's older. Yeah. It's like. It has. 60s. Oh, nuts. Crazy. No. Crack. Um. Yeah. Throw it. Just throw it on the floor while while you're at it. <laughs> Is that, is that, um, McCoy right there? Yes. Yes. 1850 Pelican. That it's one, neat. that one's nice because it's sort of. one chip there. But... Oh, and on the back of his head. Oh. He was dropped. Dropped poor as a Pelican. baby bird. Poor, poor Pelican. Mm-hmm. What picture were you talking about? The one up there with the palm tree? Yeah. Is it a print? No. I think it's a watercolor. I kind of like it. Yeah. Wait, is it $149? That's what I said. Oh, I missed that. Okay, we're going to go down. Uh, what? what no. I'm over it. I'm going to go down to the basement. Okay. <laughs> you can stay up there and look in that booth if you wanted, but. Oh, this could be good. Oh, you do look good to me. There's all these aluminums. They got the Peacock aluminum set. Oh, yeah. For 40 I've sold those. And Raffia wear. And cottage cheese. Oh, gosh. A whole thing with a bunch of restaurant wear that I shouldn't buy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Hmm. That is from 1961. $4. Well, hmm. look at all these colors over here. I love these colors. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ah, Starburst glass. Oh, that's cute. You are that cool. Look at that toaster. Mmm. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. These cups are kind of interesting. They're plastic, though. This is an interesting restaurant where sat Barb. Oh. It's Shenango. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't remember the name of that, and I have some in different colors. It came in a lot of different uh, Cute different little color bowls. What's the year of that? Let's see here. It says N-22. Uh, let me see that again. I'd say late 60s. That one, yeah. Oh, really? Was I right? I don't know the dates offhand on Shenango, but when it says that rim roll thing, it's it could be into the 70s, but I bet it's 60s. I'd say 1968. Are they selling the whole set or? Oh, I don't know. Or oh, is it? Oh, oh, oh. Boo, boo, boo. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. And you, $85 it's... for all. Oh, well, that's not nice. No. I would have liked one of those cup and saucers. Would be cool. It would have been cool. There's a lot of nice things over here in the basement. Hmm. There's a mob agate planter. Ten dollars. Real Hager. Kind of a, cute black swan. a black swan. It's probably I don't want that. No. No. Nice no. These are really cute, actually. They're made by Glass Bake, and they have these little textures on them. Thirty for the set of four, but. Huh. Let me see the bottom. Isn't that neat? The glass bake. Yeah, they've got the old glass bake mark. Those are really neat. Yeah. If they were less, I'd probably get them. <laughs> I did, I'm going to get this little tin for $4. Cinnamon. I think I it looks it. nice for Halloween. And then I'm going to get this because I know somebody who likes these. Oh. Little spaghetti red poodle. There you go. Yep. I love this thing. Awesome. To my dear aunt. It's adorable. Just happened to look up and see this Atkinson Fox print and our Atkinson Fox. Interesting. And it's only 20 bucks. That's a nice frame. It's sort of like a blue color. All right. So that's a really good price for that. And I haven't seen this print before. Let's take a look at it. It says John Drescher Co. Inc. New York right there at the bottom. Interesting. Interesting. Let's look at the back of it. Hmm. Somebody redid it. 
the frame, mm, the frame looks okay. It's just like, I'm trying to be a detective now. So, okay, so they re, they put a new back on it. This was, I guess, on the original one. Hmm. Cause it's definitely new. It's a new back, but the, the wood is old. The frame is original, it seems. They put a new hanger wire on it, so that's a new wire, which is good. You don't want it falling off the wall. But it was called Garden of Contentment Sunshine Gardens. Okay, well, twenty dollars is a really good price for that, and I'll get it. I'm looking at it up close. Yeah. Looks nice. Yep, I guess I'll add that to my other one, and my tin too. Find anything else? I'm looking at farm festivals. Oh, well, those are always fun. Wait, what now? This isn't surely 1881, is it? It looks in really nice shape. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. How does the front look? I like the look? cover, yeah. It's kind of pretty. Oh, how beautiful. How much is it? For fall. Uh, wait, I really like that book. I know. You should get it. Oh, it's right there. Where? Open it up. They wrote it in pencil. Oh. 15. Ah. I think it's a it's a winner. I don't know. I love the graphic. Hmm. You'll have to read it. <laughs> okay, this caught my eye. It was hanging on the wall, but it is a Versailles perpetual calendar or calendarier perpetual. <laughs> anyway, and it is fourteen dollars, but it has like this what looks like mercury, I guess. Interesting. And there's like that. And here's the back of it, and you can turn those knobs. It's a perpetual calendar, so you turn them, and then you can change which day, which month, and which whatever year. No, not year. You know the things. But that is cool. I'm gonna get it. I think. I don't know if it's like just a souvenir or if it's a like something to do with maybe a World's Fair. I don't know when that would have been. Maybe it's just a souvenir. I like it though. I'm gonna get it, it's different. All right, we're gonna head over here to this place. We just wrapped wrapped up at the other one. We'll see what we can find. Okay. They look like little salesman samples. Tiny little thing. Oh, there's the owl, American bisque owl. Oh, the Groucho marks of cookie jars. <laughs> <laughs> Usually they have like really vibrant black eyebrows. Look at all them ladies up there with hats. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of books. They have a lot of military things here. Ooh, look at her. Claudette Colbert from Paramount, Paramount Pictures. Huh, look at you. Clothes? They have a lot of military stuff. Goodness. This is not usually my wheelhouse at all. <gasps> Look at her. A hundred dollars. Hmm. You can get yourself some boots. I was just looking at them. Booties. They're $25. Everything I pick, oh, I was gonna say there's no price. Um, 22. Let's go back here. Ooh, it's a ramp. All sales are final, okay. Let's hope we can find something. Wow, this is pretty cool if you're into this. This is interesting. There's like planes hanging from the ceiling. There's helmets everywhere. There's like all these heads with hats on them. <laughs> heads with hats. Where have I seen this before? Whoops. Where have I seen this before? It's $85. It's aluminum, I guess. Oh, well. Howdy do. <laughs> Howdy do. Oh, little, little lady with her hula. Aloha Hawaii. Oh, Texas. Look at you being an ashtray. Okay. Barb just noticed this plate. Let's see. Mollusk China, Ooh. 45. 
Yeah, some of these like Western patterns can be, you know, fairly valuable and that's a decent size plate. So I mean it's I would about have, normal. <laughs> my guess well, it's I just like mean a nine it's not like a little saucer, you know. Oh right. But um yeah, that's probably about right if I had to guess, but Oop, there's a Jim Beam decanter hiding under this hat. They like to put hats on things around here. <laughs> Ooh, that's the, oh, crap. That's the I Dream of Genie decanter. How dare they put a decanter, a, a, a hat on a decanter. Are you kidding? It's not even for sale, is it? Really? Maybe they just don't have it priced. They were too busy using it as a hat holder. <laughs> That's the I Dream of Genie decanter. They would paint that different colors. Nuts. It's not there. Maybe the hat comes with it. <laughs> well. I'm kidding. When you hold it. Maybe they can tell me how much. I forgot which hat. Oh, is this one? Okay. I. I don't even see words. Luxberry best. Made officials fifteen dollars. Is it fifteen dollars? Hmm. Oh. Well, I know one thing. This doesn't stay on. Yeah, but that's okay. It's because the cork's a little uh -huh. screwed up. That was a word play for corkscrew. Um, maybe they could, maybe they could just tell me how much it is. Maybe. I'm going to try. I mean, like, here's a painting and it doesn't have a price on it. Do you want it? You want to be twins and go up and ask for prices? <laughs> um, what does this say? Born in Southern Italy, blah, blah, blah. It says $40 right there. Oh, okay. Oh, nuts. See, I told you it does almost, not stay. That looks That's painful. Not. It's crooked. It's pretty fun. It says hand blown by rainbow. Huntington, West Virginia. They have $30 on it. For fi about 15, I would pay for resale. That's nice. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. Let's put it next to this gal. She's going to check on the price of that decanter. How much would I pay for that decanter? I'd pay like $15. Okay. I'd pay about 15 for that. Here's some Moriyagi. Satsuma sugar. Or incense for 40. Did you look behind this man? I did. Hmm. That's a nice little $60 thing. Oh, yeah, it is. <gasps> Ooh, look at that building. And this is Southern Homemade Suites, New York. Mm, looks happy to see us. Texas Centennial Exposition, 1936, Dallas, Texas. $20. Okay, so hopefully it's not too loud, but we just we just walked, there's a giant truck there. Um, we just walked out and the decanter was $150. The, the, their girl had to like check on the price and she was like, yeah, it's a movie prop. I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's like one that was used in a prop, but it's not so, um, Interesting. I have one at home already, so really I could just sell the one I've got if it came to it, but 150, no, sorry. All right, yeah, so the first place that we went was pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. We found a couple lithographs, which is always fun. At some point, I'll need to start selling them because I'm out of space wall-wise. Oh, you could fill up walls a lot more than you do if you wanted to. It is say. true. Like, I mean, I could be more maximalist in my thinking, but... Uh, that was interesting about that decanter. You know, considering there was no price on it and the fact that the guy like knew like over the phone. Yeah. And it was like buried like that. Why? Like you would think it would be one of those sleeper items, but and that they would want to like put <laughs> some more information with it. But um, no, so they knew what it was, but I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna tell you this much, the just the decanter by itself, just like that, you know, retail, it's worth about, I would say, $70, $80, the way that it is, on, on a good day. I think you can find them cheaper, but that's that. Now, there is a company out there that will paint these bottles, and they'll make them look like the original I Dream of Genie bottles. You can buy the those completely painted. Last I checked for about $150, and... Like, that's a lot of work that goes into those bottles. And they have, like, different series of them. Like, because on the show... Are you familiar with I Dream of Genie? 
Not really. On the show, like each year, Jeannie is a, a, a genie. Jeannie is Barbara Eden, and she plays a genie that is in, lives in a bottle mm -hmm. for Major Nelson. And every year they changed up the bottle design a little bit, so there's like different variants of the bottles. Oh. And the set department used the Jim Beam bottle as the, the base, and then they would paint it to look really cool and neat. So there are different ones, and then like different family members of Jeannie also had their own bottles, like her sister and whoever else. But yeah, anyway, so long story short, I did not buy the bottle. Um, but that is it for this town. We're gonna go eat, and I'll see you later, I guess. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye now.